Hello. Uh, hi, Michael Musio. How are you? Well, I'm doing great. I'm at the auto show. As a car guy, this is my happy place. All right, then. What do we got going now? Well, uh, there's all sorts of good stuff happening at the LA Auto Show. In fact, I'm standing next to a, uh, a Scion concept car, and uh, people are walking through frame, but uh, we don't have to pay attention to them. We can just talk about the Scion if you want. Okay. And you're in Los Angeles live. Yeah, yeah. Here in uh, Los Angeles, it's a beautiful day, presumably outside. But, uh, yeah, I'm surrounded by cool, cool, super cool cars. Uh, the Scion concept car is a particularly neat one to me uh, because uh, they're actually going to build a production version of it, which I find super intriguing. Oftentimes, you know, they'll introduce a concept car, and it's uh, it, it will never appear on American roadways. Uh, but not this one, actually. We will see a Scion production CHR in the not-too-distant future. In fact, they're going to show the production version at the Geneva Auto Show in March but uh, super evocative design uh, you know sort of uh, inspired by the uh, jagged edges of a gem swoopy as heck I like it well I've ridden in one and I do really like it and it's a lot roomier than it looks so I like that yeah, totally. Yeah, so uh, concept, uh, compact SUV uh, categories is definitely growing. So that's a neat concept, but it's not just concepts at the LA Auto Show. Um, we've got uh, cars that are coming to dealerships near you in the not too distant future. In fact, the 2017 Hyundai Elantra is a great example of that. It's a compact sedan. Uh, they've updated it for 2017 with, with sleeker styling. I think it looks quite nice both inside and out. But what's significant about the Elantra is that they have infused it with technology that was previously only available in much more expensive of cars, things like automatic emergency braking, if a car stops in front of you and you don't apply the brakes, the car will actually uh, begin to brake for you. Or lane keep assist if the car, if you start drifting out of your lane, it'll automatically pull you back into that lane. And uh, I love seeing that technology find its way into vehicles that uh, people like you and I can actually afford to drive. That's right. Do all of these have backup cameras? That seems to be almost standard now. Yeah, actually, yeah, by uh, 20, I think it's 2018, uh, backup cameras will be required. Uh, um, in fact, a lot of manufacturers, if you go to Honda's booth, every single car they sell in America has a backup camera. So uh, absolutely common. Um, in fact, you know, you've hit on something uh, great there, which is that one of the big things about the LA Auto Show is technology. You see so much technology. A great example of that would be the Mazda CX-9. It's all new for 2016. And uh, where technology emerges in the... Uh, the Mazda in such a beautiful way is under the hood. It's a 2.5 liter engine, which it's a four cylinder. It's a fairly small engine for a, a seven passenger SUV. And yet through the power of turbocharging, it makes 250 horsepower and a stout 310 pound feet of torque. And it's supposed to get the uh, best in class fuel economy, uh, which means that um, you have a big car, but uh, it gets great fuel economy. And uh, you know, there's nothing better than looking cool while you drive and saving money in the process. And I will say in, in terms of saving money, one other uh, really interesting car that's being shown here. So it's sort of a unique a little out, outside of the box off offering, but it's the Elio, the Elio P5. It's their uh, prototype. It's a three-wheel car. Yeah, look at that, uh, that there. It's, uh, don't see a lot of three-wheelers, but uh, by going with the three-wheel uh, uh, you know, approach, that actually qualifies the vehicle as a motorcycle. So they can do some really interesting things. The net takeaway is that the Elio is expected to get 84 miles per gallon on the freeway. That's right, eight Four, 84 miles per gallon, and uh, they're aiming for a $6,800 starting price. So hopefully we'll start seeing those on roadways at the end of 2016 when they expect to go into production. Well, Michael Muzio from Kelly's Blue Book, live from the Los Angeles Auto Show. If they can't get there, why would you send them online? Uh, no, no, you just have to come out to L.A. I mean, that's what I'm going to say. Just come out to Los Angeles. Actually, if you can't come to L.A., go to Kelly Blue Books, KBB.com, and we've got full coverage of the L.A. Auto Show. That's KBB.com. Learn more about all these super cool cars. Thank you, Michael. Enjoy your job. Hey, thanks for having me.